Pavlovas are usually white and fluffy meringue nests filled with whipped cream, but this one's gone over to the dark side. Ba, 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 da, ba, ba, da. In a simple meringue, all you do is you beat your egg whites and sugar until it's fluffy. In a Swiss meringue, you heat your whites with the sugar over a double boiler until the sugar dissolves, and then you beat it. That one extra step gives you a lot of stability. Workout. Gotta keep going there. The pavlova dessert originated from either Australia or New Zealand, depending on who you ask. It was named after a Russian ballet dancer named Anna Pavlova, who was performing in that part of the world, and a chef made up a dessert that was supposed to emulate her beautiful, fluffy, billowing white tulle skirt. Right? If you have an electric mixer, a handheld one, feel free to use it now. You don't need to use a whisk. It's just, it looks stronger already, right? So the way that you know this is done, is you wanna just feel a little bit in your hands and it shouldn't feel grainy, it should feel perfectly smooth. That way you know all of the sugar has dissolved. So I have my mixture of egg whites with the sugar all dissolved in it and now I'm just gonna beat it until it's fluffy and it has stiff peaks. So you know this is done when it's white and glossy, but you can also tell by temperature. Just put your hand on the side of the bowl and it should feel cool. And it should look like that. Do you see that peak? That's what you're looking for. Very beautiful. If I were making a regular pavlova, I would be all set and I would start to form it onto the pan. But because I'm making a chocolate pavlova, I need to add the cocoa powder. Fat is anathema to egg whites because fat is what's gonna make the egg whites collapse. Cocoa has fat in it. So when you're adding the cocoa to the whites, you have to do it right before you wanna bake it off because as it sits, it's just going to make your beautiful pavlova deflate. Meringue is super sweet. Cocoa is a little bit bitter, so they work well together. So you really wanna build up the sides of this. You wanna make them high because once it goes into the oven, it starts to collapse a little bit and you want there to be a place where you can put all that delicious filling. Meringues need to be baked low and slow. You want them to be firm on the outside, but the inside should still be like a marshmallow. You can fill your pavlova with anything. You could use whipped cream, you could use ice cream or sorbet. But in this case, I'm filling the chocolate pavlova with a chocolate mousse. One, I wanna be able to use the leftover egg yolks. And two, when we go to the dark side, we go all the way.